Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tar reading for my Gemini for the week starting June 13, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleehello at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I'll be very appreciative. Thank you for those who subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, all of your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. I also posted uh, below the video where you could find me on social media as well. I am on Facebook, Tumblr, Pinterest, and Twitter as well. I want you to know, my Gemini, that before recording your reading, I always meditate and ask spirit for guidance, and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have for you this week, uh, my Gemini. So we're starting with the King of Cups. So yes, you receive, I mean, for me, the King of Cups is the card of, a, of the lover. But it could be that you're reflecting love, uh, you're reflecting, uh, you know, compassion and understanding. It's the card of the lover. I mean, we'll have to see the other cards, okay? Because it could mean differently, different things. It could be that, you know, maybe love is on your mind for my single Gemini. And uh, for women and men, it could be also that now there's a different outlook that is more uh, connected to spirituality or healing also, because he, he, he is also the healer of uh, the king. But let's see what we have for you now in the near past position this week. The nine of cups. Oh, I'm happy. I'm getting excited. So wish desire coming true for you. You see, like he's like the genie and he's asking you, what do you want? And he, you no, know, he has indulged himself a little bit in some drinking. You could see his nose is pink or red. <laughs> um, so yes, for some of my Gemini, you'll be celebrating your birthday this week. Happy birthday. It'll be a great week because it seems like there's a wish, a desire coming true for you. I'm telling you, this second part of the year will be very different, okay? There's a desire or something. It could be connected to love, passion, but it could be related to anything. But it's something that fundamentally you have been wishing and wanting for a long time. And now is your time. And it's next to the, the King of Cups, so it is supported. It is good energy and energy that is coming to you. Okay, energy that you have brought to yourself with some type of maybe change or, um, you know, that's something that happened because um, Gemini are air. They're not really too much connected to uh, water, okay, on a certain level, except for Scorpio. I say only Scorpio because for Scorpio, you're the eighth house, okay? So for Scorpio, the eighth sign, so they have this connection with Gemini. But in any event, okay, there's something here coming through for you, my beautiful Gemini, and I think that you're going to like it. And let's see what we have in a position of the future this week. The Ace of Swords, interesting. Mental clarity. So now... We have this compassion, this healing energy that either you are receiving or you or it's coming towards you. You're, there's a good karma because you have the sun, which is your friend. The sun is, you know, it represents Leo and Gemini's great love and admiration for Leos. You guys get along. The sun right now is in Gemini. Okay, so that's why some of you will, sell, will be celebrating your birthday. But not only that, you also have Venus in your sign. And whenever we have Venus in our sign, she always gives us a gift. She leaves us something. Okay, so something is coming. But most importantly is you'll be in your element. We have here the Ace of Swords, which is mental clarity. That's what Gemini needs. Gemini has, because Gemini spend a lot of time in their head. They like to think, overthinking, and I have to say, sometimes you see things that are not there, okay? A little bit like, you know, well, anyways, you know, as we all have this, uh, you know, a little bit um, paranoia type of like, uh, energy coming towards us, but I think Gemini are deep thinkers, and sometimes they go too deep, okay, and because of that, it gives it brings some instability in their life. But having the Ace of Swords here is to let you know that now it's like the, you know, the thumbs up from the universe saying, yeah, you're doing good. 
we're gonna help you now you'll be maybe it's in terms of your communication maybe it's in terms of business it's a source it could be anything okay or and also like I said you're you, you're feeling good now you have the Sun in your house and you and Leo's are great partners so you have this possibility now to really communicate clearly to spirit what is your desire what do, what do you desire deeply for yourself what is your wish what how can you express yourself how can you live this life or how can you you know um, be connected to the source the energy in a way that makes you feel this is coming so if you don't know look for messages around you because this ace of sword is really like I said is this deep clarity coming towards you so I hope you do pay attention because there's a lot of things happening for you this week, my Gemini. And let's see what we have in the position of the outcome this week. The tower. Interesting. You know, there's different ways to, um, to give a description about this card, the tower, which is a major arcana. And, and the simplistic way is disruption. Okay, and then it could be two things. You're getting too excited <laughs> because I'm getting excited too. Okay, you're getting too excited because you know, I think there's something about this new energy coming your way that you're feeling. There's something that is about to change, it's something that you want, yes, but it could be something also that you have to give away. Maybe you have to release something. Maybe that your, your, your little routine is not working anymore. You know, in order to change energy in your life, you're going to have to make that change in your life. And if you're bringing some type of resistance, then like I said, this card could mean disruption. Because there's a lot of things that are like where you, you're doing, you know, you're, there's an effort that I feel that you're putting. Because the King of Cups is you really trying to have this understanding, this connection with yourself and maybe other people and through that there's an effort that you're you know that you're 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 putting in and you're getting something back but also maybe spirit may ask you to give more than you're willing to give and if you're like i said holding on to it which normally you don't but if you don't willingly give it away and i'm not sure what it is it could be in different areas of life you could have a disruption but there's a way to avoid this energy so i mean Get that clarity, my Gemini. You know, tune in, seek guidance in order to avoid this card. And this, this sometimes this card is not bad at all. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that things are not going the way we want. There's there's a out of control energy coming in. So just be aware of that. I'm gonna end this reading here for you, my Gemini. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.